عزیز طالبہ ڈاکٹر محمد جمل چفتائی لیکچر نمبر پانچ لے کر حاضر ہے آج کے لیکچر میں ہم ٹائپس آف سورسز اور ان کا سیریز اور متوازی سرکٹس میں استعمال اور ان سرکٹس میں غیر معلوم مقداروں کا معلوم کرنا سیکھیں گے کسی بھی سرکٹ میں سورس کی حیثیت بنیادی ہوتی ہے عام زندگی میں آپ اس طرح سے سمجھ سکتے ہیں کہ کسی بھی سرکٹ کو پاور مہیا کرنے کے لیے جو بیٹری وغیرہ استعمال کی جاتی ہے اس کو ہم سورس سے تعبیر کر سکتے ہیں یا پھر عام زندگی میں جنریٹر کی مثال جو ہم عام طور پر گریلو استعمال میں لاتے ہیں اس کو بھی سورس سے تعبیر کیا جا سکتا ہے سورسز دو قسم کے ہوتے ہیں نمبر ون انڈیپینڈنٹ اور آئیڈیل وولٹیج سورس نمبر دو انڈیپینڈنٹ اور آئیڈیل کرنٹ سورس ان سورسز کی مزید دو دو اقسام ہیں جن میں کرنٹ کنٹرول کرنٹ سورس وولٹیج کنٹرول کرنٹ سورس وولٹیج کنٹرول وولٹیج سورس یا پھر کرنٹ کنٹرول وولٹیج سورس آتے ہیں انڈیپینڈنٹ وولٹیج سورس کو اس طرح سے سمجھ لینا چاہیے کہ اس سورس کے اکراس جیسا بھی لوڈ لگایا جائے اس کے وولٹیج پر کوئی اثر نہیں پڑتا جبکہ لوڈ میں سے کرنٹ ویری ہوتا رہتا ہے آئیے ایک سادہ سے گراف سے اس کی مثال سمجھتے ہیں گراف میں دکھایا گیا ہے کہ الانگ ایکس ایکسز ایک کوئی ایکس کوانٹیٹی ڈرا کی گئی ہے جبکہ الانگ وائی ایکسز انیدر کوانٹیٹی وائی ہیز بین ڈران ناو یو کن سی وٹ ایور دا ویلیو آف ایکسز دا ویلیو آف وائی ریمینز کانسٹینٹ دیر فور وی کین ریزمبل دس گرافیکل ایگزامپل with the independent voltage source. Now we see an actual graph where the current has been drawn along the x-axis, whereas voltage has been drawn along the y-axis. Now voltage has been shown in the form of a straight line, which again shows that whatever is the value of current drawn from the source, the value of voltage supplied by the source remains constant. In this case, the independent voltage source has been explained. This graph can be defined as current is independent of V, direct voltage. The voltage which is independent of time and its magnitude and direction do not change with time is called direct voltage. Aziz Talaba, ab kuch baat direct quantities ke paare mein. Direct quantities ka matlab ye hai ke wo brahe raast mikdaare hoti hai. Yani ke time ke guzarne ke saas saas in ki mikdaar ya halat pe kuch asar nahi padta. Jaisi hum direct voltage ko lehen, to ٹائم کے ساتھ ساتھ وولٹیج کا لیول ایک ہی رہے گا جبکہ اے سی میں یا آلٹرنیٹنگ کرنٹ میں ان کی مقدار چینج ہوتی رہتی ہے اسی طرح سے ڈی سی کرنٹ کی مقدار بھی ٹائم کے ساتھ ساتھ ایک ہی طرح کی رہتی ہے ڈائریکٹ کوانٹیٹیز دا کوانٹیٹیز ہوز میگنیٹیوڈ اینڈ ڈائریکشن ڈو ناٹ چینج with time are called direct quantities, for example, voltage or current. Alternating quantities. The quantities whose magnitude and direction is changing with respect to time are called alternating quantities, for example, once again, voltage or current. Grelu is tamal hone wale tamam circuits mein alternating current کا استعمال کیا جاتا ہے جس میں کہ current کی value time کے ساتھ ساتھ change ہوتی رہتی ہے اس لیے اس کو AC سے تعبیر کیا جاتا ہے آئیے اب ideal current source کے بارے میں دیکھتے ہیں 
ideal current source. The source which gives constant current independent of the terminal voltage is called independent current source. Jis tarah se humne independent voltage source ko discuss kiya, isi tarah se independent current source ka maamla bhi vahi hai. Yani ke independent voltage source mein voltage constant rehti hai, jab ke independent current source mein current constant rehegi. Aayye ab hum graphical presentation for the current sources dekhte hain. Graph mein dikhaya gaya hai ke voltage ko along the x axis draw kiya gaya hai jab ke current ko along y axis draw kiya gaya hai. Now you can see that the value of current remains same for all the values of changing voltages. Therefore, this graph is depicting the status of ideal current source. Aziz Talaba, aye ab independent voltage source ki further categories ko define karte hain. Voltage control voltage source can be defined as the source whose magnitude is controlled by voltage is called voltage controlled voltage source. Another definition for current control voltage source is if output voltage is controlled by current then it is called current controlled voltage source. Voltage control voltage source ki misal aye ab hum graph par dekhte hain. Graph mein dikhaya gaya hai ke along x axis current I2 has been drawn whereas along y axis voltage V2 has been drawn. Now we can see that there are two voltage levels for V2 which has been drawn into this graph. V2 is equal to alpha V1 whereas we have chosen the value of alpha as 2 and the value of V1 as 1. Therefore, the value of V2 is equal to 2. Now on the upper line we can also see that V2 is equal to alpha V1 whereas we have chosen the value of V1 as 2 volts and the value of alpha remains constant. Therefore, the value of V2 is equal to 4. Now from here we can see that the value of V2 is independent of the current I2 whereas it only depends upon the voltage V1. Therefore, this graph presents the example of voltage controlled voltage source. Current controlled voltage source ki misal hum is tarah se samaj sakte hain ke agar ek current controlled voltage source ke across koi bhi resistor laga hua ho to is circuit mein se behne wala current wo voltage Y1 jo ke source ki voltage hogi us pe depend karega jab ke voltage drop across the resistance will not be affected. Aye ab isi example ki graphical presentation dekhte hain. Graph mein dikhaya gaya hai ke along x axis current I2 ko draw kiya gaya hai jab ke along y axis voltage V2 ko draw kiya gaya hai. Jis tarah pichli example mein dikhaya gaya hai tha bilkul usi tarah is example mein bhi do voltage levels dikhaya gaya hai. First voltage level which is the lower one has been shown as V2 is equal to small r I1 where r is some constant and I1 is the current flowing through the circuit. Now if we choose a value of 2 for R and a value of 1 ampere whatever for I1 then we end up with V2 is equal to 2 volts. For the upper line which is drawn into the graph we can also see that 
V2 is equal to R I1. Now, we keep the value of R constant and we assume that the value of I1 is equal to 2. Therefore, the value of V2 will become as 4 volts. Now, from the graph, we can see that the value of V2 is independent of the current I2. Rather, it is only depending upon the current I1 through the circuit. Dear students, now we take an example of voltage control current source. In these sources, the magnitude of the current is controlled by the input voltage so that we can have the formal definition as if magnitude of current is controlled by input voltage, then it is called voltage control current source. Ab isi source ko hum graphical presentation mein dekhte hain. Graph mein dikhaya gaya hai ke along x axis V2 ko draw kiya gaya hai, jab ke along y axis I2 ko draw kiya gaya hai. Now, the value of I2 is given by G times V1 or we can say that I2 is proportional to V1 or I2 is equal to V over R or I2 is equal to G times V where G is equal to 1 over R and as you can remember from the last lectures that 1 over R is called the conductance and this is normally represented by G. So, now we come back to the graph. We can see that the lower line of the graph shows that I2 is equal to G V1. If we take the value of G as 2 and the value of V1 as 1, then we end up with I2 is equal to 2. On the upper line, we can also see that I2 is equal to G V1. Now, we keep the value of G as same in the lower case, whereas we change the value of V1 to 2 volts. Therefore, the current I2 will be equal to 4 amperes. From here, we can clearly see that the value of I2 is independent of V2, rather it depends upon V1. Therefore, this graph presents the explanation of voltage controlled voltage source. Is a regular source type current control current source hai jis mein input current ki magnitude ko current se hi control kiya jata hai. Aiye is ki formal definition dekhte hain. If magnitude of current is controlled by current then it is called current controlled current source. Dear students, I have current control, current source ki graphical presentation ek martaba phir usi tarah jis rah humne previous cases mein dekha hai, dekhte hain. Graph shows the voltage V2 has been drawn along X axis, whereas the current I2 has been drawn along Y axis. Now again, two levels of current has been shown. The lower level shows I2 is equal to beta I1. This shows that I2 is proportional to I1 where beta has been used as a constant of proportionality. Now, if we keep the value of beta as 2 and for the lower line case, we take the value of I1 as 1, then we end up with the value of I2 equals to 2 amperes. Now, we go up to the upper line, which is the higher value for I2. Once again, we keep the same value for beta and we take the value of I1 as 2 amperes, so that we end up with the I2 value of 4 amperes. Now, this graph has presented the explanation of current controlled current source. Aziz Talaba. In Mukhtalif sources ki definitions ke baad, 
Now we will try in some examples that how in a complete circuit we can calculate different values of various quantities in a closed circuit. For this purpose, take a very simple example. This example shows that a 10 volt battery has been attached in parallel to a 3 ohm resistance. The figure shows that a battery of 10 volt is applied in series to a resistive value of 3 kilo ohms. From Ohm's law, the current form of Ohm's law is written as I is equal to V over R. Therefore, from the circuit, we have a value for V is equal to 10 volts, whereas the value of resistance is 3 kilo ohms. Therefore, I is equal to 10 over 3K, which will be equal to 3.33 milliamperes. Hence, we can say that the current flowing through the loop, which is consisting of a resistance R of 3 kilo ohm value, is 3.33 milliamperes. आइए अब एक और मिसाल देखते हैं जिसमें दो रेजिस्टेंसेस को बैटरी के साथ सीरीज में लगाया गया है दिस सर्किट शोस दैट टू रेजिस्टेंसेस वन हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ 2 किलो ओम्स एंड द अदर वन हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ 3 किलो ओम हैज बीन अटैच इन सीरीज टू द बैटरी ऑफ 10 वोल्ट्स वैल्यू now from the circuit as we have done in the previous lecture, we can clearly see that in order to calculate the current through the circuit, we start from adding up the two resistances. Therefore, 2K plus 3K is equal to 5K. Hence, our circuit adopts the form as it is having only one resistance of 5 kilo ohm value connected in series with the battery. Now, in order to calculate the current flowing through the resistance, we can again apply Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R. Therefore, I is equal to 10 divided by 5 K and we end up with a 2 milliampere current flowing through the circuit and the same current will be flowing through 2 kilo ohm resistance and through 3 kilo ohm resistance as both of these are connected in series with a 10 volt battery. Now we take another example with a slightly complicated resistances attached to the battery. However, all these three resistances, they are attached in series to the battery slide per slide shows that three resistances starting from the top of the circuit the first resistance is having a value of 25 ohms second one having 10 ohms and the last and the bottom resistance is having a value of 5 ohms the value of the battery voltage is 40 volts now, we want to calculate the current flowing through the circuit. Again, remember that because all the resistances, they are connected in series with the battery, therefore, same amount of current will be flowing through all the resistances. Now, we add up all these three resistances and that will sum up as 40 ohms. Therefore, our circuit adopts the shape as it is having only one resistance of 40 ohms attached in series with the 40 volt battery. Once again, making use of Ohm's law, we can write I is equal to V over R is equal to 40 divided by 40. That will be equal to 1 ampere. Therefore, the current flowing through the circuit will be equal to 1 ampere. 
عزیز طلبہ یہاں تک تو ہم نے کرنٹ فلوئنگ تھرو کلوزڈ سرکٹ کو کیلکولیٹ کیا جبکہ ہم نے اوم سلا کا استعمال کیا مزید آگے بھی ہم اوم سلا کا ہی استعمال کریں گے جبکہ اب کسی بھی سرکٹ میں لگی ہوئی ریزسٹنس کی ویلیو کو نکالنے کی کوشش کی جائے گی جبکہ وولٹیج اور کرنٹ کی مقداریں آلریڈی ڈیفائن کر دی گئی ہوں گی آئیے ایک مثال سلائڈ پر دیکھتے ہیں دا سرکٹ شوز اے ٹین وولٹ بیٹری اٹیچڈ ان سیریز ود ا ریزسٹنس آف آر ون وچ از ان نون ریزسٹنس ناؤ دا ویلیو آف وولٹیج وچ از ٹین وولٹ از آلریڈی گیون اینڈ اٹ از آلسو گیون دیٹ تھرو دس سرکٹ اے کرنٹ آف فائیو ملی ایمپیئر is flowing therefore making use of ohm's law once again we can write r is equal to v over i inserting the suitable values for the voltage and the current we can write r1 is equal to 10 volt divided by 5 milli amperes which is equal to 2 kilo ohms therefore the resistance inserted into the circuit carries the value of 2 kilo ohms is se agli misal mein hum dekhenge ke agar hame resistance ki value aur current flowing through the resistance is given then how can we calculate the value of voltage aaiye slide par dekhte hain slide shows a voltage source which is a battery and having a value of v volts is attached in series to a 10 kilo ohm resistance whereas it is given that a current of 3 milli amperes is flowing through the circuit again by ohm's law we can write v is equal to ir or we can write v is equal to 10 kilo ohms into 3 milli amperes resolving that we end up with 30 volts therefore the value of the voltage source which has been attached to the resistance of 10 kilo ohms is equal to 30 volts let's take another example where two resistances has been attached with the voltage source having a value of v volts now we have to make use of the previous lecture to work out the total resistance which is being seen by the voltage source therefore we add up the two values which is 5 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms hence we end up with an effective value which is seen by the voltage source as equal to 15 kilo ohms now if the current flowing through this circuit is given as 2 milli amperes then again making use of ohm's law we can write v is equal to ir that will be equal to 2 milli amperes into 15 kilo ohms which is equal to 30 volts that means that the voltage source which is attached to two resistances is bearing a value of 30 volts aziz talaba aap bhi dekh rahe honge ke waqt ke saath saath hum mazid complicated circuits mein enter hote ja rahe hain isko main rok nahi sakta lihaza agli misal mein hum mazid complicated ya pechida circuit ko dekhenge ke usme se current ki miktar kis tarah se calculate ki jayegi aaiye slide par dekhte hain slide shows quite a complicated circuit which is having seven resistances haphazardly attached with each other to start with solving this circuit we have to make use of the technique which we have learned in the previous lectures so i would start 
from the two resistances which are at the bottom of the circuit. They are bearing the values of 3 kilo ohms and 6 kilo ohms. Now clearly we can see that these two resistances they are attached in parallel to each other. Therefore, making use of the parallel resistance formula, we can calculate the equivalent value of the resistor which will be equal to 3 kilo ohms parallel to 6 kilo ohms. Hence, we can write 3k parallel to 6k is equal to 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 equals 18 by 9 which is equal to 2 kilo ohms. Therefore, we replace these two resistances having value 3 kilo ohms and 6 kilo ohms with a single resistance of 2 kilo ohms. Now, this 2 kilo ohm resistance is attached to the original 2 kilo ohm value. So, we can again, because they both are in series to each other now, now we can add up. Therefore, we can replace the two 2 kilo ohm resistances with the single 4 kilo ohm resistance so that our circuit becomes a bit more simple. Now, from extreme right hand side of the circuit, we can see that the 3 kilo ohm resistance which is at the top of the circuit and the 1 kilo ohm value of the resistance which is on to the right hand side, they are attached already into series. Therefore, the equivalent value for these two resistances will be obtained by just adding them up. Therefore, we can replace these two resistances with a single equivalent resistance having a value of 4 kilo ohms so that our circuit is as shown in this slide. Now, we can again see that from the right hand side of the circuit that the 4 kilo ohm value which we have just calculated has become parallel to the earlier calculated 4 kilo ohm value and they both are connected in parallel to each other. Therefore, we can once again calculate the equivalent value for these two 4 kilo ohm resistances which are connected in parallel to each other. So that we can write 4 kilo parallel to 4 kilo is equal to 16 divided by 8 that will be equal to 2 kilo ohms. Hence, our circuit has become a bit more simpler. Jaisa ke aap dekh sakte hai, ke circuit in tahai sada form mein aa chuka hai. Jis mein dekha ja sakta hai, ke baaki maanda, tino ki tino resistances, ek dusre ke saath series mein aa gai hai. Aur jab resistances, सीरीज में आ जाएं तो उनका मजमुआ लेना ही बाकी रह जाता है लिहाजा हम इन तीनों रेजिस्टेंसेस को ऐड अप करते हैं आइए देखिए सो बाय एडिंग दिस थ्री रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यूज व्हिच आर 6 किलो ओम्स 2 किलो ओम्स एंड 4 किलो ओम्स वी एंड अप विद अ सम ऑफ 12 किलो ओम्स देयरफॉर द सिंपलेस्ट form of the circuit is as shown in this slide. Hence, we can calculate the current through this circuit as the value of the voltage source is given as 12 volts. Therefore, once again by Ohm's law, 12 divided by 12 kilo ohms, that will be equal to 1 milliampere. That means, whatever situation of the complication of the circuit is the total current which is flowing through the whole circuit is equal to 1 milliampere or in other words we can say that the battery which is having a potential difference of 12 volts is only bearing a current of 
1 milliampere to flow through whole of the circuit. We have another example for the circuit shown in this slide and we want to calculate the power dissipated in the circuit. Looking on the circuit we can see that the 4 kilo ohm resistance which is connected with the 8 kilo ohm resistance has been shown as a diagonal. So looking into this circuit to start with it presents a very complicated picture. However, this is not a very complicated circuit. It is a quite simple example of a resistive network. Therefore, this circuit can be redrawn as shown in this slide. Now in this circuit we have put the 4 kilo ohm resistance in parallel to the 8 kilo ohm value and after drawing this circuit we can see that the resistive network has been presenting a very simple shape. To start the analysis of this circuit and to calculate the power dissipated as desired in the body of the question, first of all we will start simplifying the resistive network. Now it is up to you from where do you start resolving this resistive network. However, I start simplifying this resistive network from the central to 12 kilo ohm value resistance. Hence, we can say that 12 kilo ohm resistance is in parallel with another resistance having a value of 12 kilo ohms. Therefore, to start with, we must find out the combined effect of these two resistances using the parallel resistance formula. Hence, we can write 12K parallel to 12K is equal to 12K into 12K divided by 12K plus 12K. Simplifying this expression, the resultant resistance will be having a value of 6 kilo ohms. Therefore, we are in a position to replace the two 12 kilo ohm resistances with the equivalent single 6 kilo ohm value of the resistance. And after replacement of these two 12 kilo ohm resistance by 6 kilo ohm resistance, the circuit will adopt the shape as shown in this slide. From this simplified circuit, once again, we can see that the equivalent 6 kilo ohm value of the resistance has become in series to the original 2 kilo ohm value. Therefore, in order to further simplify this circuit, we can add these two resistances to get the combined effect. Hence, once again, we can redraw the circuit to replace the 6 kilo ohm and the 2 kilo ohm value by a single equivalent value of the resistance which will be having 8 kilo ohm value so that we can write 6k plus 2k is equal to 8 and the newly drawn circuit will be as shown in this figure. Once again we can observe that the 
right hand side 8 kilo ohm resistance is in parallel to 4 kilo ohm resistance. Therefore, to find out the combined effect of these two resistances, once again we can apply the parallel resistance formula. Hence, we write 8 kilo parallel to 4 kilo that will be equal to 8 kilo into 4 kilo divided by 8 kilo plus 4 kilo ohms that will be equal to 32 divided by 12 k that will be equal to 2.66 kilo ohms. Once we have calculated the equivalent value of the resistance for a set of two resistances having a value of 8k and 4k. Therefore, we can replace these two resistances with the single value of the resistance which we have calculated as an equivalent and that is having a value of 2.66 kilo ohms. Now, redrawing the resistive network will have the shape as shown in this figure. As we redraw the resistive network, once again we can see that the equivalent 2.66 kilo ohm resistance has become in parallel with 8 kilo ohm resistance. Therefore, it is necessary to calculate the equivalent value of the resistance as a result of 2.66 kilo ohm and 8 kilo ohm becoming in parallel to each other. Hence, we can write 2.66k parallel to 8k that will be equal to 8k into 2.66k divided by 8k plus 2.66k. Simplifying this expression, we can write 1.99 kilo ohms or making it round, we can write 2 kilo ohm resistance. And this is the equivalent resultant resistance for the two resistances having values 2.66 and 8 kilo ohms connected in parallel to each other. Therefore, in the resistive network, we replace the two mentioned values of the resistances by a single value of 2 kilo ohms. And we redraw the circuit so that it becomes as shown into this slide. Now clearly we can see that the circuit is adopting simpler and simpler shape as we proceed with the equivalence of the circuit. In the final stage, once again we can see that the 2 kilo ohm resistance has become in parallel with the 4 kilo ohm value. Therefore, once again, we have to find out the equivalent value of the two resistances. Hence, we write 2k parallel to 4k. That will be equal to 2k into 4k divided by 2k plus 4k. That will be equal to 1.33 kilo ohm. Now, once again, we replace 4k and 2k with their equivalent, which is having a value of 1.33k. Therefore, we can draw the resistive network to have only one resistance connected in series with the 12 volt battery. And the shape of the circuit, which is extremely simplified will be as shown 
in this figure. Before we calculate the power dissipated by this circuit, we must calculate the current passing through the circuit. Therefore, we can write I is equal to 12 divided by 1.33K. That is a very simple application of Ohm's law. And solving this, we will have 9.022 milliamperes. Therefore, the power dissipated in the circuit will be P is equal to V into I. That will be equal to, after putting appropriate values, 12 into 9.022 milliamperes. That will be equal to 108.26 milliwatts. Aziz Talaba, isi tarah se mukhtalif circuits ko draw karne ke baad, jaisa bhi aap chahe, usi tarah se draw kar lijiye, aur usme se parallel aur series ke combinations ko रिजॉल्व कर सकते हैं और रिजॉल्व करने के बाद कुछ वैल्यूज को अस्यूम कर लीजिए और उनमें से किसी एक वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करने की कोशिश कीजिएगा उम्मीद है घर पे प्रैक्टिस करने से आपको मजीद लर्निंग टैक्टिक्स का पता चलेगा आइए एक और मिसाल स्लाइड पर देखते हैं दिस फिगर अपरेंटली लुक्स लाइक अ वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड रेजिस्टेंस नेटवर्क Whereas all the resistances they have been supplied by a voltage source of 20 volts. Now to start with, from where to start for the solving of the resistances, we have to inspect visually that what is the suitable point which suits us so that the amicable solution for this network can be produced. In my opinion, we can see that a resistance of 3 kilo ohm is in parallel to the resistance value of 6 kilo ohms. So, we calculate the resistance for these two parallel resistances first. Hence, we can write 3 kilo parallel to 6 kilo ohms is equal to 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6, which will be equal to 18 divided by 9. Hence, we end up with an equivalent resistance of 2 kilo ohm value. Therefore, we replace these two resistances with a single value of resistance, which will be having 2 kilo ohm value. Now, this 2 kilo ohm equivalent resistance value is attached in series with a 4 kilo ohm value. Easy busy. Now we can add them up to get 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 kilo ohms and replace these two resistances with their equivalent value so that our circuit adopts the simpler form as shown in this slide. Now clearly we can see that a 12 kilo ohm value is in parallel to the equivalent 6 kilo ohm value. Therefore, the equivalent for these two resistances will be calculated as 6K parallel to 12K. That will be equal to 6 into 12 divided by 6 plus 12. That will end up as 4 kilo ohm value. Therefore, we can see that we have extremely simple network where only three resistances are connected in series to each other. Now, the simplest solution once again, that we add them all up. Therefore, to get the summed value of 10 kilo ohms. Hence, the complicated network, which was shown in the first slide, will adopt a very simple value such that only one resistance of 10 kilo ohm has been attached in series with a 20 volt battery value. Now we can easily calculate the current flowing through the circuit. Once again, making use of Ohm's law 
we can write i is equal to v over r that will be equal to 20 divided by 10 k that will be equal to 2 milliamperes. So, that will mean that whatever is the complication in the network, the battery is only bearing the pressure of 2 milliampere current. Aziz Talaba, ab tak to humne mukhtalif voltage sources aur unke networks mein se mukhtalif values ko nikalne ka amal sikha. Iske baad hum ek nai type of circuits jisko aam zubaan mein voltage divider circuits kehte hain uska istemal sikhenge voltage divider circuits aam taur par resistive networks hote hain in mein do resistances series mein lage hote hain aur inke analysis mein kisi ek resistance ke across voltage drop ko nikala jata hai aam faham zuban mein iska istemal is tarah se samjha ja sakta hai ki for example agar aapke paas battery ki kuch aisi values darkar ho jo ke aam market mein standard batteries mein available nahi hoti hain to us jagah pe hum apni desired value ko calculate karne ke liye वोल्टेज डिवाइडर का इस्तेमाल करते हैं वोल्टेज डिवाइडर की फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन को इस तरह से देख सकते हैं एनी सीरीज सर्किट इज अ वोल्टेज डिवाइडर सर्किट द आईआर ड्रॉप्स आर प्रोपोर्शनल पार्ट्स ऑफ द अप्लाइड वोल्टेज स्पेशल फॉर्मूले कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर वोल्टेज एंड करंट डिविजन्स एज शॉर्टकट्स in calculations the voltage division formula gives the series voltage even when the current is not known the current is having the same value in all resistances because they are connected in series in the circuit also the voltage drops equal to the product of i and r therefore the ir voltages are proportional to the series resistances a higher resistance has a greater ir voltage than a lower resistance in the same series circuit equal resistances have the same amount of ir drop if r1 is double than r2 then v1 will be double than v2 or in resistances ki value equal ho to dono resistances ke across jo hum voltage drop measure karenge wo bilkul barabar hoga jab ke agar in resistances ki value equal na ho to accordingly unke across voltage drop bhi चेंज हो जाएगा यानी कि लो वैल्यू रेजिस्टेंस के अक्रॉस वोल्टेज की वैल्यू भी कम होगी जबकि ज्यादा वैल्यू वाले रेजिस्टेंस के अक्रॉस वोल्टेज की ड्रॉप वैल्यू भी ज्यादा होगी आइए मजीद कुछ पॉइंट्स स्लाइड्स पर देखते हैं द सीरीज स्ट्रिंग कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज ए वोल्टेज डिवाइडर ईच रेजिस्टेंस provides an ir drop v equal to its proportional part of the applied voltage this can be stated with the help of the formula v is equal to r divided by rt into vt where rt is the total resistance and vt is the total voltage now we want to calculate the voltage drop across the 4k resistance from the network as shown in this slide therefore making use of the voltage divider formula we can write v is equal to 4 divided by 10 whole into 10 that will be equal to 4 volts that will mean that 
the voltage drop of 4 volts can be measured across the resistive value of 4 kilo ohms. Aziz Talaba, ab humne 4 kilo ohm ke across voltage drop ko calculate kiya hai. Isi misal ko further aage lete hain aur koshish karte hain ke 6 kilo ohm ke across kya voltage drop value aati hai. Aye dekhiye. Now, we want to calculate the voltage drop across 6K resistors. Therefore, by the help of formula, V is equal to R divided by RT into VT. That will be equal to 6 divided by 10 whole into 10. That will be equal to 6 volts. Therefore, we can say that a voltage drop of 6 volts will be developed across 6 kilo ohm resistance. Aziz Talaba, aaj ka lecture yehi par iktadam pazir hota hai. Agle lecture mein hum voltage divider aur current divider in ki saada misale aur complex examples ke baare mein padhenge. Tab tak ke liye ijazat dijiye. Allah Hafiz.